The OWC Thunderbolt drive, if you put the right SSD in here, you actually get much better read and write speeds from the OWC drive than you do the internal drive. You can also upgrade this to two terabytes or more for less money than actually upgrading to a 512 drive in this M4 Mac Mini. Now, when it comes to booting from your external drive, the reason I don't recommend that is there can just be so many different issues when booting from your drive, and you're not saving that much extra space by doing it. All you're doing is completely not using anything on your internal hard drive, including the system settings. And the problem is, if this thing isn't plugged in, or it runs into a drive issue, well then you're not gonna be able to boot your computer easily, you're gonna have to get Apple tech support involved, it's just not worth the hassle. Where if you use this as your home drive on your main account, and then you just set up a secondary account on here, well, if you do run into any issues at some point, you can fix them yourself without having to get Apple involved. Again, unfortunately, using an external drive is pretty necessary when it comes to the base model Mac Mini, but this thing is such an incredible value at $599, it, it's worth it for me. It doesn't really add that much extra space on my desk to use this SSD. It's not like I'm traveling with this Mac Mini. People who do those videos, I don't think that's practical. You might as well get a laptop at that point.